from Universal Studios Hollywood. Welcome to Home and Family. What the heck was that? All that's coming up. So back with us today is one of our very favorite family members. He's considered the Dennis, the menace of magic. Welcome back, celebrity magician Marie Sawchuk. Thanks, Hi. Thank you, thank you. You're going to amaze us on the do. show today, as you always I am. do. I also know she has some stuff right here. A card yeah. here, and another one here, here, yeah. here. Well, another one right there. Fantastic. And then, oh. oh. Okay. Oh. Everywhere. So magic is everywhere on the set today. So everywhere. I have to make a note. We need to change craft services. we got to stop serving <laughs> cards. I just exactly. doesn't work I was right. waiting for cards to come out of your hair. Next. That could be the next segment. You never know. <laughs> well, you know, it's raining outside. so It is. Yeah, out. it's raining really hard. So, But I actually brought something very special for you guys. It's the first time time ever to be seen uh, just for you guys. So Really? Well, for just, us? just for home and family. Yeah, I actually created it just for you guys. So. A, a big magic thing. Yeah, a big magic thing. Yeah. You know, I, I, a big magic I, here's what, here, I will say this is why you're a family member as well, not only because you have great magic, because and uh, some of the family members who are new to us today, you're a big landscaper as well. You I love, love you love doing that. I yeah, on the we, weekends. You know, some people yeah. do yoga, go bike riding or hiking. I, on the weekends, I just put the phone inside and spend four or five hours in the yard. So. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, it's it's so make our therapeutic. Land, our backyard go away. After is he? Shirley Bob <laughs> spent awesome. all that time putting it together, he'll <laughs> poof, make it disappear. Fantastic. Okay, hard. okay we are back with Marie Sawchuk, and he's Hello. going to bedazzle our existence with some I'm, amazing well, magic. Yeah. But wait, hang on before right. we get started. Okay, okay. I have a little business I'd love to take care of. First, right. remind everybody it's time for our weekly dream vacation sweepstakes. One of the mo area's most picture perfect beaches. This expansive, luxurious getaway delights with friendly service, gourmet dining, nightly entertainment, and as you can see, very fun, relaxed, and romantic. We're going to be there too. <laughs> <laughs> to enter, all you need to do is listen for the two clue words that we will give out in the show. Once you've identified both those words, you go to our website. You run, 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 and it's hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. And, uh, <laughs> and then you use those words to enter. Uh, the contest starts today, which is Monday, the 11th. It's going to end Wednesday at 12 o'clock midnight Pacific time. All the rules are on our website, so go there and get those and play. It's so much fun. Play, to do play, that. play, play, go play. Go Happy go. Monday. All right. Yes. Let's see what we have here. For well, us. what can we do? I thought I'd try something where you guys actually do the trick. All oh, right, yes. so here's what I thought. Uh, we're going to have a ten, of, we're gonna ten of hearts and the king of clubs. Don't worry about what they are, the ten of hearts or the king of clubs. This is a black card, red card. That's all we need to know, okay? Okay. But I want you to go back and forth as quickly as you can, all okay. right, guessing what this is, a red or a black so card. So she goes and then I yeah, go? Yeah, back and forth. Yeah, together. we're going to do the whole side together. It'll never happen. It will be here forever, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. So okay. let's go back and forth, and I want you to separate the whole deck, but without seeing them, all right? So mm -hmm. you, can, uh, you can start, Christine, all right? Here we go. All right, black. Black. Red. Red. Black. Black. Red. 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 Black. Red. Black. Okay. Red. Red. Black. How long are we doing this for? Oh, oh, yeah. Black. 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 Red. 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 Black. Red. Black. 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 Red. No. Red. Red. No, no, it's okay. You're fine. It's okay. We'll keep it there. Okay. Black. Okay. Black. Black. Red. Are you sure? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Black. 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 Yeah. I went black. Red. What do you want? Red. red. Okay, let's. Okay, you guys are so. great, but let's. Okay, so we're gonna start again. <laughs> it's okay. Well, this will be the red pile now, and we'll okay. get a black. That's the rehearsal. Okay, so here we okay. go. Where you go? Black. Black. Red. Red. Okay. It's so really this a hard, tough decision. Black. Black. Red. 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 You go. Black. Black. Red. Okay. Black. Yep. Black. Black. Red. Red. This way. Red. 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 Black. Black. Red. Black. Red. Black. Oh, so red. Red. Black. Red. Red. Black. Red. Black. We black and then. There's 52 cards. Red. Like four more. Oh, black. <laughs> black. Red. Red. Black. Black. Red. And then red. Okay. Red. Nice. Look, you're hired. There's you're no perfect. Way this look at this. This trick is going to work. We <laughs> I know, right? Our minds. Check this out. Yeah. Now, watch. We're going to do this and we're going to do this and this. Now, here's what we're going to do, all right? Just for you okay. guys. Watch very carefully. Now, you guys went back and forth randomly. Clearly. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I okay. About it. Perfect. Now, here's what's going to happen, all right? So, this is obviously the black pile, black, red, red. So, watch very carefully, all right? There you go. Red, yes? yes? Yes, it's all red. Correct. All right. Oh, you believe me that easily. Okay, look at that. What usually you, people go, look. What do you do? Stop it. Oh. I won. You're hired. I won. Check I won. this out. Okay. Black, no, yes? No. Yes, black, but what? See? This is the reds, right? Yeah. Here we go. What? what? Watching? <laughs> Check this out. How did you? And then last is the black, of course, right? Check this out. Am I good or what? There you go, you're hired. Am I amazing? That's what I did. How do you do that? that 
It was you, not me. I just I was listening to you two, which is so easy. It was so easy. Anything. So, do you guys okay. want to learn a trick though? Something people yes. can do at home? Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh yes. So here's one of my favorite tricks ever. We're gonna make this actually on the show. So um, I have three cards. Okay, yeah. now check okay. this out. We have the two of spades. Mm -hmm. We have a joker, and then we also mm -hmm. have the eight of hearts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So three cards, very simple. I want you to help me. Okay. Okay. I want you to take this card out. I want you to take the joker out. Don't look at it, but pull it out. Place it down on the table. Okay. I know. The joker. Okay. Okay. Take it out. I know this is a yep. trick. But just slide okay. it out. Okay. Don't look at it. Place it down. So that's the joker, correct? Now watch very carefully, okay? We have the two and the eight. The joker, watch very carefully. Watching. Turn it over. Oh, ow. What did you do? That hurt. You're hired. Oh, did it hurt? What did you do? Well, it's not a joker. Yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. That's How the magic that? trick. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> That, but thank all right. You. So, do you guys want to learn that amazing trick? Yes, <laughs> yes I want to learn that amazing trick. All right, thank you. Yes, both of you, which yeah. is great. That's the reaction I try to go for. Put my audience okay. into a complete coma. Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trust me, a, a trick a little bit later I'll do. We'll see the reaction then. Okay, we'll just try. Okay. Maybe you need something a little bit right. bigger. All I'm right, just so. amazed. Okay. All right, so here's the idea. This is the secret part. Everyone can make this at home. It's a little flap. All right. Here you go. All right. Ooh. Look out, Harry Potter. There. Oh, goes. a DIY right. project. We're yeah. perfect for this. Here we go. So you have three normal cards, okay? And then one slice. So here's what it is. I got tape, scissors, and I have DIY. cards. Oh. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use these four cards. Now, these two are already pre-made for you too, all right? So you can hang oh. on to this, you can hang on to that. But I'm actually going to make it for the people at home. So you pick a card you like. I love the Ace of uh, Diamonds. So you take this, you cut it on an angle, just like so, okay? Just trim it up. All right, so okay. there's the angle. Okay. You pick a card that you like. I try to have two cards that are different or opposite, meaning like color, so they really right. show. Mm -hmm. okay. Then what you do is you pick, take a piece of tape, a couple inches long, and you take the back of it, the 90 degree edge, all right, and you run tape straight down, about half the tape, all right, just like so. So there's a sticky side over here. Sure. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. You fold it back, all right, right, and then you find the card you like. We're going to use the six of spades, all right? And when you do this, you stick it on an angle as if it was to be fanned out in a real fashion if it was a real card, all right? Oh, you cheated. So you, yeah, you, yeah. yeah, that's me. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, so, so at least you're aware. Okay. So um, so you place this down here. Now, what's important is you don't want the card, don't stick it this way, because when you turn yeah. this way, not impressive no. by yeah. anybody. No. That's not, you know, okay? So when you want it, you want to make sure that the card's completely on the whole thing. All right? Okay. So see, it's hidden. So when I turn it this way, it looks like a single card, but it's actually a gaffed card. Then you take a card that you, the other two cards. So you have a gaffed card, which is, means a trick card, and two regular cards, all right? Mm -hmm. Take your cards out, all right? Take the paper clip off the bottom and get the, uh, the setup card. Okay. Oh. All right, yeah. there That's it is. Card. And I, I would use the two of diamonds in there. So you take, I'm going to use the king of spades. So king of spades, you actually slide into the envelope and edge it. Make right. sure the edge matches. Okay. All right. Mm. So stick it right in. Right just here. one card, not two. Let's don't not get no, greedy. No. All right. So <laughs> just put it right in there. All right. If you have one in there, okay. okay. And then take the third card and don't line it up, but place it right on top so it covers the line. All right. All right. All right. Okay. See how it covers the top and the bottom, mm -hmm. so it looks like three cards. Now down here, I it's can a bit see a messy. Dingy thing there. So what you do is you cover the dingy thing with your <laughs> yeah, thumb, um, and that's okay. a technical term apparently. Okay. And you hold it just okay. like that. Mm -hmm. So now it looks like three separate cards, it correct? Does. Yeah. Okay. Now the setup part that we just did. Don't show the audience. We don't impressive. want to show that. Well, no, no because no. it does. Then they'll be on to you. Focus. Okay, so, <laughs> so we have the six of spades, eight, uh, ace of dimes, and the eight of cl uh, clubs. Okay, now you have the jack, three, ten, and you have a four, nine, and five. So okay. what you do is you show the audience this way what you have, all right? Mm -hmm. You turn it back over, you know, show them the back so they see it, and then turn it back. Don't tell them you're trying to show them anything because they think you're, yeah. you know. Right. Then you say, I want you to pick out the ace of diamonds. For you, it's the three of spades, and for you, it's the nine of hearts. Okay. You don't tell them the middle card. If you tell them the middle card, then they'll want to pick one of the others. Just right. say, uh, yeah. pick the so it's going to obviously be the yeah. middle. Yeah. Turn it over. Turn over. Pull it out. So since we have nobody else here, pull out your own card like this. Okay. Don't look at it. Obviously, you keep it this way so the audience can't see. Then these two, you squish them together. So what happens when you put them together like this, it looks like the only two. Oh. Don't bring it up like that because yeah. that impresses nobody again yeah. by the reaction of everybody here. So, uh, so you want to keep it. You just want to squish those two together. So you squish them together and you bring these two up first. So they go, oh, well, it must be this card. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you turn and over then and you flip change. it over and look at that. Yeah. Huh? We'll work on the break. We'll work on the break. That's Where? fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you cut, yes. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 Here, I'm going to let you guys yeah. practice. I'm Here, you so guys work confused. on this a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys are going to take off too? I love Wait. it. You slide it right okay. in, see? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. I love it. Okay. You're going to Vegas. 
I, I, I want to be your assistant. Okay, I'm you're so in. good at this. You're in. <laughs> you're in. You're <laughs> perfect. You're going to be amazing. Okay, I know. Okay. And we are, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marie. We've got, of course, oh, coming up me. coming up next, Marie's going to do a, a trick for us that you have to see oh God, to crazy. believe. Before we go to break, though, we have to say goodbye to Bitsy and oh, Sasha. You guys are going to take off. Something really Thank, yeah. But you know what? Oh, take that as a parting gift, okay? <laughs> trick him. He'll never know. Sasha will never know. Thank you guys so much for we'll coming. We'll be right back. Okay. We're not kidding. We have something really very very special to share with yeah. you, so please come back. Okay. We are back here with celebrity magician Murray Salchuk, and he's one of our favorite family members who's also a great landscaper. I love landscape. I do it on the weekends to relax. Yeah, so, yeah I, I, love it. I love it. I love it. So, what do you, what, what do you have for us today? I actually brought my shed all the way from Las Vegas just for you guys here at huh? Home Family. So, check it out. See? Now, I didn't only bring my shed, I also brought my tools and everything else. I have to show you. You brought Check tools. it out. Oh, yeah. I got, um, I got my <laughs> weed whacker. I got my leaf blower. Okay. Here, hang on to those. Okay. I, I even brought my lawnmower. I got a weed check whacker. Check this out. <laughs> Just like so. And uh, of course, as, uh, as a magician, what I also brought one more thing, and I'll, I'll show you. I, uh, I also brought my, uh, my magic wand. I'll show you. Check this out. Here it is. <laughs> this is the greatest thing. Now, this next thing, this shot is not going to cut away at all. This next shot isn't going to be edited. If you were here at home and family, you would see exactly what we're all seeing right now. And this trick is strictly just for you guys. I got my magic wand direct from Las Vegas. One thing I did end up bringing all the way from Vegas just for you guys. Check it out. My grizzly bear. <laughs> This is Dakota. He's an eight-year-old grizzly bear, direct from Big Bear, California. Hey, Dakota, say hello to our home and family viewers. <laughs> you know, that is just one unbelievable illusion right here on Home and Family. Yes. All right, we are back here with celebrity magician Murray Sawchuck and, of course, Dakota, who is around the corner, uh, somewhere around here. I hope we know. No, we, we know. He's, he's all tucked in. And, it's, and uh, Dakota's trainer, um, Randy Miller, is here. So he's joining us now. So, Murray. Yes. Uh, first of all, I made the sun appear. Do you like that? What do you I know. The weather know. is, like, changing yes. every 10 minutes. It'll probably be dark guys. and cloudy here before we finish this segment. How did you come up with this idea? Well, you know, I love your show so much. I love being here. And it's one of those things where I thought, what can I customize for you guys? And uh, obviously with the home show and the shed idea, I thought, well, if I take the premise of a shed and me and Randy have been friends for years he's the one that worked with me on America's Got Talent the Tiger and a bunch of stuff he does movies in Hollywood all the time and he has an array of animals and I thought well wait a minute he has a grizzly bear <laughs> what can we do with a grizzly bear and then something with home and family which is Aww. it's a different setting for a magician sure usually, right? sure so I came up originally it was, it was an outhouse idea like an outhouse in the back it's old it's kind of cool yeah but a grizzly bear is massive so you need a huge outhouse <laughs> it doesn't really make sense so we went to a shed and then I called Randy I said what do you think about this idea and he says I don't think I've ever heard of a magician using a grizzly bear ever and as far as I know and I've checked with historians it's never been done ever. so you made this yeah I, you we designed this it yeah us, I designed it my builders been built done it before yeah and then wow, Randy I phoned him and he says what are the chances like well they're not like a tiger they're completely different I said well what do you think he says, let's go for it so that was it so I've, yeah. yeah I mean there's a reason that it's never been done because the grizzly bears are pretty big yeah. how much powerful. does he weigh Dakota uh, about 900 pounds how long have you been working with him? Uh, his whole life. He's 18. 18 years old. I got him when he was a baby. Little bitty. Yeah, I got him when he was a baby 18 years ago. What, um, just real quick, how long did it take you to come up with this? This is uh, creating a whole, is this take? Honestly, I designed this probably about six to eight weeks ago. Wow. And uh -huh. then I called Randy. I said, is this possible? And he said, well, you know, as you know, he told me bears hibernate. I never thought about it. It's, you know, it's winter. They're still right. sleeping, right? Right. So I uh, thought, oh, that's a bit of a period to be sleeping. What is it, four <laughs> months or six or whatever it is? Yeah. So he checked on his bear to see if, you know, it was lively enough to work. And then I said, he said, yes. I said, great. And uh, so we built the shed. And then uh, I'd say about three weeks of rehearsal, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, so and it came pretty pretty quick. So is he, he's a busy bear? Or does he, do you keep him sort of working? Yeah, a yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, our company did projects like Gladiator, Last Samurai, you know, Transformers. Oh. We've done some big projects. Uh, he's done a lot of television, a lot of commercials. Like what? And National Geographic series, like those, mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, Hunter and Hunted, mm -hmm. uh, World's Most Dangerous Animals, 
Uh, we've done a lot of projects where we recreate animal attacks that have happened. Yeah. High profile animal attacks. And Dakota's done a lot of those types of shows. What, shows. Wasn't he in that the Will Ferrell movie? He was there, yeah. We had <laughs> two bears on that. So, you know, I mean, we, we here are always celebrating animals and we can hold them in such the highest regard. What is life like for him when he's not sort of performing? What's well, he... our place is um, in Big Bear and we have it's beautiful there. 55 yeah. acres of forest. So I have a lot of land to take them out and exercise them. And when, I, when we do, when I work with them, when I train them, I take them out in the forest and do, you know, get them to run or climb. We do a lot of, they like to climb trees. Right. How do you get them out? What if he doesn't want to come down? No, tree? well, that's when yeah. they're, I start when they're young. Yeah. I start when they're young and we let them climb and we call them out of the tree. You know, we call them to come down, yeah. so. But watching you, you know, with him and seeing a little bit of you, I can tell you have so much respect for him, the way you, the relationship mm -hmm. that is there, I assume, but you've never crossed that line. They're the pets, you know, these yeah. are not. Yeah, yeah, I mean, even though I've raised him since he was a baby, you know, he's very powerful. He's nine you know, and he, even yeah. not, not even trying, I mean, they can, they can, you know, do damage, they can. Sure. Uh, well, he was doing some damage to those little cookies or whatever you had. He was it's amazing, it. though. A little cookie and it loves it. This massive bear, you know, and it's funny to watch. You know, I have a couple chihuahuas at home, and just to tell him to sit takes me half an hour. He's like sitting, and the bear's like, okay, 100 pounds, okay. Oh, let me be funny. And it's amazing how he has that control. And but like well, like he said, they can switch in a second, right? I mean, yeah, they can. They can. That's I mean, it. The type of training, it's all positive reinforcement, you know. So so we reward them for doing these tricks. And yeah. there's, a, there's a way of you know bridging them and shaping their behaviors when you're training them to right. do these things, and we use like cookies, treats sure. what else to reward eat? them. Well, he eats everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, meat, all the all the different meats, chicken, beef, yeah. but then uh, you know vegetables, fruit. How much everything. a day? We'll use cookies just for the training treat? for yeah. treats. How much does he eat a day? Like 20 pounds a day. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. 20 pounds a day Wonderful. is a lot. And, and, and the closer you get to winter, the more they'll eat to put on weight mm -hmm. for winter. And we do, since we do live up in Big Bear and it's cold, uh, these guys do hibernate. Like he'll he'll go to sleep for a couple of weeks at a time. Where does he sleep when he's up? Uh, in his den box. He has oh, a yeah. den box. Wherever he wants. Yeah. Wherever he wants. Yeah, right. He wherever yeah. he wants. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Randy. Thank you. It was a yeah. Sherry thank Dakota. Oh, thanks for having us. Murray, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, you can check out Murray's brand new show. It's premiering at the Tropicana in Las Vegas, March 18th, a week from today. For more information, go visit Murray's website, which is murraysawchuck.com. Fantastic. Thank, you. Thank you so, so very much. Stick around. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate it. Stick around. We are coming right back. There's Dakota. Look at him. Wow. He is a big boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think, was he calling for you? Maybe I, he's he's doing the, the yeah. move. Yeah, he's, he's like, ready to work out. Like, Come ready on, to work out. Let's yeah. do it. All right. We are here with David Wack. He is known as a visionary in the fitness world for creating the Bosu Balance Trainer, uh, which is before us here today. It's a blue half ball that provides a balanced body workout. He teaches Bosu classes at Spiro Fit, uh, which is an online fitness program. And he is here to show us how to sign up, log in, and then get busy. So let's get busy. First of all, what is Spiro? Fit. Okay, well, Spiro Fit is basically, it's a live online experience. Nine of the best trainers in the world mm -hmm. can do it anywhere, internet connection and a device. And so what's the benefits of having this online versus going to a gym? Okay, well, because it's live, you get this raw, real energy that's more motivating, uh -huh. but you've got the archive and the library, and you have so many disciplines. So no matter what your interest is, you can find it, and then you can sort of spread your wings and get a little bit and more. Perfect. So, yeah, it's so awesome. these are your trainers. How do you yes. sign up for something like that? You just this well, is your I mean, it, it it couldn't be simpler. You just basically, you know, navigate to the site, click on where you want to go. It's it's simple. It's all self-explanatory cool. when you get there. Nice. Yeah. I work out at home all the time. That I don't. I don't hey, have a gym membership. I'm telling membership. you, the home is the, the home is the future of fitness. Yeah. This space, right. actually, that's right. The living yeah. room because people need... are using us. Okay, yeah. and listen, we want to invite you to give this a try. We have a little offer for our home and family viewers at home. You have a chance to experience this best in live and on-demand personal training online. And our friends and our good friends at Spyro have set us up with five one-month memberships to pass along to you to enter to win. All you have to do is follow us on Twitter. It's that simple. At Hallmark Channel and retweet our home. And 
Holman family tweet that has the hashtag SpiroFit in it. Very simple. Just remember, all you have to do is retweet our exact tweet, and we will choose five random winners, and then we'll contact you if you're one of those lucky ones, and then you can give it a try and go work out at home. Uh, all right, so let's talk a little bit about the BOSU ball, that, um, that David invented this, so and he cool. teaches classes, and we pulled Murray in because I know you're, he's a <laughs> fit guy, actually. He works out regularly as well, yes. and I'm like, you're coming yeah. with me to do this. I so, didn't know he, he invented these. This is really cool. Yeah, this I is mean, fantastic. This guy's all the time in the gym. And the motive behind right. it, yeah, is what? You came because you had some back injuries. Yes, that, that's yeah. right. So, I mean, I've been an athlete all my life. I hurt my back, and it was every day chronic pain for a year, so I empathize with anybody who's had that. This was sort of my solution, fixed my back, made my entirely stronger. Professional athletes use it, but I mean, That's we have it in rehab, perfect. kids, active aging, everybody can use it. Sorry, I'm gonna switch places, do -si do with you. Take Great. us through a couple of the exercises that we would get if we went online, if we have one of these. Okay, all right, so Murray, shallow water, you're deep water initially, oh, okay? Great. So, okay, Great. So Murray, what you're gonna do, let me just Which show you. Which means I'm harder than yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. All right, so Murray, what I want is one foot centered on the bullseye there. Got it. Bring this other foot back. Yep. Okay, and orient the foot that way. Gotcha. Good, good. Now, what you're gonna do is just step and make that your destination and do a lunge gotcha. up there. Gotcha, like right. that. Yes, keep the knee behind the toe. Gotcha. Just give me two reps like that. Okay. All right, so yeah. you're doing the sort of easy version. The shallow. That's shallow right, shallow sh water. That's <laughs> right. You're not you're gonna so drown in there. <laughs> All right, so you Mark, magicians. what you're gonna do is step up on that okay. bullseye, stand yep. up on top, cue with your open foot That's right what there. That's I'm talking about. Like cue means just okay. touch it or okay. take it off for more balance. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna step off and lunge and come back up to that position. Oh, so I'm starting. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's great form. That's great technique. Wow. And you can see at home all of that core activation that's going on. Is this a little bit more challenging than Yeah, it is. Well, exactly. doing it in these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you feel every little thing is that's right. Is moving on the inside. And, and, if, and if, if we were working together, I'd load you up with some dumbbells, and I'd really sure. make you work. Okay? Wow, this is a... This it's is hard to balance up here. Yes, yeah, exactly. Really now, enough. watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Close your eyes and do it. What? Here we go. Close your eyes and do it. Okay. I'll protect you. We won't hit the TV. Here we go. I'm just going to watch. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, big time. That's a huge difference. Huge, huge. All right, next one. Whoa. Next one. Wow, why, right. why, wait, hold on. Why did I just, that was. Well, your what eyes, your eye, your balance is three things. It's your inner ears, uh -huh. okay, that's vestibular. It's your proprioception, that's your awareness of your body, and okay. it's your eyes. Your okay. eyes are constantly scanning the horizon for horizontals, verticals, so okay. you can orient. Or a handle on out. that a little bit. Yeah. Boom. Exactly. Okay. All right, let's. What right. do we have next? These right. are we're going to work on Christina because I know she has that issue. And yeah. A little bit of dose of this, not too much. It's probably the best thing. Oh, good. All right, Murray, down with me. All right, here we go. Yeah, Murray. Right. Right. Yeah. Straight Get line. Him. Straight line, water. Murray. Yeah, yeah, in the deep water now. All right. In the deep water. Okay. Get in the straight line. All right. All right. Shoulders are even with your hips, even with your ankles. Perfect. Put your hands down like this, palms up. Yep. Drill them down. Oh. Feel that. You feel this? I feel a lot right now. All right, perfect. Now, <laughs> the, 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 the guy with the gun is over here, Ew. and, and then we're at the bank. Well, well. <laughs> and I'm on the floor the like this. Okay. Get him oh, up. Yeah, I'm with you. you. Get your shoulders up. Okay. Get your shoulders up. Up. Oh. No, this up. is with a Yes. All right. Now, lift perfect. your arms up overhead. I'm lift your arms victim. up overhead. <laughs> you know, you can make him disappear at any moment. You can make him disappear. Oh, I could great cheese. I have a cheese. I could great cheese. All right, you're. All right, all right. Somebody get me. Hurry, hop up. Uh, Thank you. Know. you. All right, add the right. deep water. Okay, right, what am I? Mark, follow me. Okay. All right, I want you to find balance. All right. Actually, angle it this way. 40, 45 degrees, so we're not too risque. Okay. Here we go. Right. Okay. To camera. Okay. okay. Find your balance. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. You at home, you can connect your hands to your knees. Feel how that's easier? Yeah, yeah. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend that leg out, extend this arm out I, up that way. Like that? It's a leg, like that? Look at that. Wow. Now bring it back in. <laughs> Ooh! Wow! <laughs> now this one wow. and that one. Wow! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start oh my, my gosh, we can, we can wash clothes! We can wash clothes! <laughs> wow, that's it's, amazing. It's incredible. All right, so hop up. Wow. How about wow. both of you? I'm up. Both of you. Flip How's it. the water, Murray? Is it deep? Uh, yeah, it's, no, it's still shallow. <laughs> okay. It was shallow water. Push-up position. Here we oh, go. Oh, this is the dark side you're talking this about. This is the dark side. So we're not okay. going to stand on it because that's advanced. Okay. All right? And I know you guys need, you know. Oh, all okay. Help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can get. We, we're okay. we're uh, delayed. Because we're doing it. I'm okay with okay. delayed Here challenge. we go. Okay. Push-up position. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right, just one rep. All right, go down and up. All right, now tilt to the left. Keep it tilted to the left. Now go down and stay down. 
Okay. Now tilt to the right. All right. Tilt, tilt to, the to the right. Hey, come on out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now so go wow. down. Go okay. down. I'm, I'm down. We're gonna keep doing this. <laughs> and way you can uh, sign up for these classes, just go to spiralfit.com. Uh, oh. um, and uh, don't forget to follow us on Amazing. Twitter for your chance to win a free one-month membership. Up next, Orly Shani is going to be uh, working on some new clothes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. For, Eddie, for children, Eddie. those clothes you don't want to give away. On and on. Hey, you don't need to go into the garage now with Murray and Mark. Hey, guys. Garage. Yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, Christine. We're out here and with Murray, and he's, he's, we said he's a gardener at heart as well. As Love he it. loves magic. We're going to uh, talk a little bit. Even though it's wintertime around the country, you can't get into your yard. That doesn't mean you can't do gardening. What we're going to do a little bit here is talk about making sure the tools, when you do get into the yeah, I know, that's pretty <laughs> bad shape, that, huh? isn't it? <laughs> when you do get into the yard, you want to make sure that you get your tools ready to go. We're going to show you how to take care of this here in a minute. It's a really simple process, very cheap. But you know what? Murray. He's always said, hey, I can do a trick anytime, any place, Mark. So I got I have a deck of cards. Right now. Right here. You're gonna do <laughs> really? you're gonna do why not in the garage? You can do it in the garage. <laughs> ah, all right. All right, okay, do, so, okay. Um, here, do me a favor, take the cards out, obviously. Well, wait, who make, am I doing the trick? Yeah, no, I'm gonna it? help you with it. Okay. Uh, shuffle the cards up, mix them up. Okay. Okay, shuffle them really well. Okay. And then I want you to spread the cards face down all over the table. Okay. Everywhere. Yeah. Yep. I'll help you up, okay. mix them up a little bit more. All right, now okay. here's what's going to happen, all right? Okay. Now, here's the deal. I want you to stab with, uh, yeah, those will work. The this shears, work. these rusty shears. Any oh, card you want. Oh, that's a clue okay. word. Shears is our second clue word. There it is. We're dancing okay. again? Yeah, we are We're dancing, dancing again. again. It's, a, it's, a, it's a dance party. Okay. All right, I want you to stab a card anywhere you'd like, all right? Straight down. Just stab a card anywhere you want. Wow, that's did aggressive. I, did I get you, Wow, <laughs> did a, a double stab. Yeah, well, I was all right, I was don't lift the card up yet. I have here. Okay. I'm going to predict what card you have, okay? Okay. You stab. Okay. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Oh, I'm going to write it down so you don't think I can change my mind or yours. So we're going to do this. What is that? It's a two. Okay. <laughs> two. Can we get a. Is that a hearts? I want to make sure we at home see, that? see this. So that's two, two of hearts. Two of hearts. I, I'm not, not a an artist, I'm a magician. <laughs> two of hearts. Yeah, that's two hearts, right? This shears is old and rusty. It may be broken too, so I don't know if there's a. It might have looked right. underneath here. Yeah, you stab that, right? Lift right. it up. You stay people, away from me. Stay people, away from and, me. And it's the only two of hearts. They're not all the two of hearts. People always yeah. think that, you know. You stay away from me. See? <laughs> Okay, Here. back to the right. shears. Back okay. to the shears. All right, that's all right. That's really okay. Different. All right. So look, you can take time right now to take care of the things that need attention, like this. Real simple process. That we're going to do, and these are all tools we're going to show you today. Not just the pruning shears, but any other little, you know, head shears, uh, trimmers that you've got. You want to take care of these things. All right. So there's a little yep. brush for you. All right. Start off with a little bowl of water. Okay. Take it in. We want to get to the. We we got to get the rust off of these things. You know, by with a little water there, we're going to clean these things up pretty quickly. Um, you know, and, and these work. take it. Yeah, yeah. Look, we're not eating off of these things, so we want to. But no, we're not. Okay. Yeah. We're no, but we are stabbing cards and stuff. But Fairly. we want to. You know, look, this, these things have to work sure. when you need them. And you know, so you're out in the backyard and they're not sharp and they're sure. not cutting. These rust all the time too. Yeah. They seem to rust all. And the time. you know, I will tell you, it'll make your job a lot easier to do, and you'll have less chance of a, an injury because you're trying to cut something sure. that's not. Okay. So now we've got our. our we're clean. Wow, that came off really nicely, actually. Yeah, not bad. Huh? So we got We're, we're going to sharpen now. All, all right. right. So with these, here's what we. Want to do? I want to show you a close up on this because on a shears like this, there's the blade that comes right down next to this guard. That's what we want. This side of the blade sharp. This side of the blade is straight because we don't want to separate it this side from this lower half. So as it comes down, we want to keep that there. So we're only going to sharpen the bevel so side, the one angle, then not, yeah, not so, the other side. Yeah. So we're just going to take this and go down. Now you can find these uh, sharpening tools at your hardware store. Check and see. You know, just ask for them. But you go down here and you can really cleans it up. Yeah, it cleans it up. And then you can just take the, the burrs off Flat the back out. of it. Yeah, just to do that. So you can take right. that to yours. And, sure. and I probably spent a little bit more time with mine, but we're going to move sure. forward. Here's a little tip. Now, this is what's important is because we've taken a, um, a combination, three parts water, one part bleach in a bowl. We're going to drop this in here because when you're pruning and you're doing stuff in your yard, you don't want to contaminate if there is uh, if there is something that sure. may have some sort of disease or something on it. You don't want to sure. take it over. Exactly like yeah, yeah, you want to you want to clean these. I never thought of that. That. Yeah, you can spread that pretty quickly. So, so we this just, is a yeah, just water drop and it. Bleach? Yeah, water and bleach. Put it right. together. Just like my hair yeah. color, water and yeah. bleach. Yeah. And then the last thing is. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
very good. Last thing is on these, and again, this goes across the board for all your tools. You can use a, a WD-40, really simple trick, and you're gonna just spray the blade a little bit with it. Okay. You know, you know, don't point it towards your friends. <laughs> family. You, do, you always wanna point it away. That way. It just, it doesn't take a lot. You yeah. just get on, on the there. Shears, yep, yeah. yep, and, and sometimes, yeah, on the shears <laughs> is, a good, is a good way to do it. And, or you could use motor oil. All right. A simple uh, uh, motor oil is good, and you work it in. And now you wanna, here's the thing, choose when you put these things away, lock them. Okay, that's lock smart. them. It's that simple. Yeah. I'd spend a little bit more time cleaning this up, but that comes uh, out really nice, though. Yeah, it's like and brand now new. it's ready to go. It's ready to, ready sure. to do your business. Nice little trip, a little little something, something there. The bleach and water, your, I didn't know. That's yeah, cool. and it keeps you know, you, know yeah. you spend money on these tools, make them last. All of this less than twenty bucks, cheap. Take your time and and do it right, and you've got uh, you've got yourself I like tools cheap. that last a long time. Good. Yeah, I'm still gonna figure out that trick. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sit down and chat with our Skype winner for our sweepstakes. Don't go away. That's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. 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 <laughs> don't you just want to go out there and squeeze him? Uh, no. <laughs> I know. No, I don't. Oh, he's, ador he's adorable. He's adorable. Go pick it up he's for him. He's adorable. Okay. <laughs> hey, each week we... Um, you guys, thank you so much. Oh, so thank great. you. We're going to go back after we look the garage. And can we keep can we keep Dakota for a while? Sure, what the heck? Take him to dinner. <laughs> we know we're gonna be his dinner. Yeah, right. Go see.